Okay, Chris, so here's your uh, before and after from the face on, right? So what we explained was, right, you know, there's the centry shoulders, there's the centry hips. To pivot around those two positions, to get to the top, you, as well as rotating, right, it's three-dimensional, as well as the turn, as well as rotation, you've also got to have the left tilt, that's move, the left shoulder moving down, but you've also got to be bending backwards, extending your spine to get up to the top as well, right? So I think your old backswing was just you trying to turn, mm -hmm. staying bent forward, right? right? So then I said, right, well, put a club across your shoulders. As you're moving your left shoulder down, and that's your left tilt as, you, as, you, as you're turning, right? Also, extend your spine, also bend backwards. And that's how you keep your head steady. It's because for every degree of left tilt, there's also a degree of bending back. So the two cancel each other out. And then it looks like that. Now your spine's going up and down. Your head stayed in the box. You've pretty much just pivoted around the center of your shoulders. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's really good. So then when you do that with a club, when you do that with a club, there's the center of your shoulders. As you're moving your left shoulder down, extend. Shoulder down, extend, shoulder down, extend, shoulder down, extend, shoulder down, extend. I mean, that's good. That's good. That's how you keep your head steady, which is going to transform how you strike the ball, yeah. right? Like we talked about earlier, the, the, the low point, the low point of mm -hmm. the, the, the arc should be four inches past the ball. Yep. Well, how can you do that consistently if your head's moving over there, then it's moving back. It's just like, I mean, I thought you did really well to strike the ball as well as you did so consistently, right? But you're always gonna get those few miss hits in there, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, so absolutely. first lesson in, first lesson in is let's eliminate the miss hits, right? So you're striking it better and then you know, further down the road, if you want to do some more, then we work on what's going on in your swing to control the shot shape. Yeah. And that's really, that's really the dividing line between being okay and being very good. Because mm -hmm. if you can navigate the ball around the course and do it on cue, yeah. that's when you start hitting more fairways, right. hitting more greens, making more birdies, right? So that's much better.